you once were quoted as saying that poor financial management is killing SMEs. With the gale of retrenchments and the call for economic diversification, there are bound to be more SMEs. What advice do you have for someone who is entrepreneurial but, not, but does not have a head for figures? Maybe he should have somebody with a head for figure to work with him. Um, it made me think of when we started the Society of Women Accountants, one of the things we did was we were informed by engineers and architects and so on that they grow very well within their organizations, but they cannot have the top post because they don't have fi finance. And so we were running courses for them then. I think somebody has to, I think you have to, if you're in charge, you have to really understand financial management. I think you have to. Um, or you can delegate it to someone else, then how reliable can that somebody else be? How committed, how enthusiastic can that person be about it? No, I think financial management is very, very important. You've been a director in several companies, including those that were into manufacturing. Clearly, we need to go back to manufacturing big, big time, but everything does seem to be ganging up and conspiring against that sector, don't you think? There's no electricity, there's no water. You have to produce your own water, you have to produce your own electricity, and electricity is very expensive. Um, the, our graduates come out of their universities very theoretical. They don't have any practical training, any practical... The, people don't go to the college of, um, college of um, technical colleges where they can learn technical things. They don't. They come through with just re having read the books. They've read the books fine. Well, those are th very theoretical. And in manufacturing, you really have to get your hands dirty. And we don't do anything like that. We don't, Nigeria hasn't spent enough money on technical education of, at various levels. We don't. One corporate governance principle that doesn't seem to receive a lot of attention is the concept of disclosures. How important is this in efforts to enhance corporate transparency and accountability and, and restore investors' confidence, especially in, in quoted companies? It's very important, but bear in mind that we, we, are, we don't really have much in terms of, we don't have disclosure for sure, no. But um, we also don't have the willingness to open up. I really, I, I worry. <laughs> I worry that um, unless we have a much more, more honest approach to work, and to whatever else we're handling. We're really not going to get very far. Um, the, the president at the moment is exposing a lot, of, a lot of mismanagement that happened during the last, um, particularly during the last was the election time. But that doesn't mean that it's not happening now. I must say I'm flabbergasted at the size of what was, what's being exposed. I, everybody knew that. There was um, corruption. But we didn't know it was on this scale. That size? Goodness. And no, nobody thought it was of that size. Nobody could imagine, well, nobody who wasn't involved could imagine it could be of that size. But um, I think that um, we'll have to have a complete change of heart in the country. Um, unfortunately, it appears that the new generation coming in are planning to do worse than their fathers had done. Um, that's a great pity. Somehow there needs to be a new reorientation. There has to be right down from the, from the lowest level up. And I, I don't see any sign that that's about to happen. And that's what worries me. Which brings me to the role of accountants in curbing corruption. Over the years, accountants have earned a reputation for what they call creative dishonesty. They are sometimes, <laughs> sometimes seen as, as dancing to the tune of management and government yes. officials to aid them in, in unethical and, and corrupt practices. Are things as bad as, as they're being painted, do you, do you think? The accountants live within the community, and this is our community. And in ICANN and so on, we try our best to pull them back, to correct them, to to be punitive and so on and so forth. But when it's said and done, we live within the community. And the young ones particularly, they're ambitious. Um, 
We keep talking about them, integrity, accuracy and integrity, accuracy and integrity. And it's difficult to live within a community, retain your job, and still maintain the, 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 what the profession expects from you. It is difficult. Um, is it as bad as it is made out to be? I wasn't aware that it was made out to be bad. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't get to my ears. Um, it's bad enough for us. We in the profession are not happy about the level of corruption, level of inaccuracies. And the complicity of, of accountants in, in those, in those uh, Yes, in those we're things. not happy about that. And we keep talking to them. But um, we just have to keep on continuing. They do. They, they are. They are involved. They are involved. There's no getting away from it.